Hello everyone. I am Prasanna Sridharan working as a data architect in Amazon Web Services. In this video, I want to present the integration of Amazon Athena with AWS Lake Formation for the entitlements. Following are the agenda for the presentation. We will start off with the overview, then we will see the user request workflow in Amazon Athena like what happens when a user initiates a query in Amazon Athena. Then I'll run through a sample reference architecture, followed by a small demo implementing the integration. Let's start. AWS Lake Formation enables users to define various access policies when querying the data from Amazon S3 through Amazon Athena. It provides an authorization and governance layer on the data stored in Amazon S3. AWS Lake Formation provides you SQL style of granting and revoking permissions to access the data. It also allows you to implement fine-grained access control for the data. Let's see what happens when a query is initiated in Amazon Athena. As a first step, you'll have to register the Amazon S3 bucket inside the AWS Lake Formation. Once you register the bucket, you can set up the user access and entitlements for this data. When the user tries to initiate a query to access this data via Amazon Athena, it sends the user credentials to AWS Lake Formation. Once the credentials are validated, AWS Lake Formation provides a temporary token to access this data. Then the data is written back to the user based on the temporary token. This is a sample reference architecture. We have three different users here. Joe, who is an administrator, Maria, who is a data analyst, Alice, who is a data scientist. Let's assume all the three initiates an user query from Amazon Athena through their individual IAM rules. Using the get data access permissions, AWS Lake Formation requests a temporary credentials to access the data. Then it checks whether the AWS Lake Formation service role has access to the data or not. Based on the access, it gets a temporary token. Then this temporary token is passed back to Amazon Athena, which assumes the Lake Formation service role. Finally, S3 get object API call is made through this Lake Formation service role and the data is written back to the user. I will run through a demo integrating Amazon Athena with AWS Lake Formation and how the data entitlements are governed. As we saw in the previous slide, we had three different users, Joe, Maria and Alice, having three different data entitlements. For this demo, I created a sample table called account with the following attributes. Joe, as an administrator, want to have access to the entire table. Maria, as a data analyst, who wants to analyze PIA data, want to have access only to the PIA attributes, like names, SSN, date of birth, and phone number. Alice, as a data scientist, who wants to build a geographic and demographic model, want to have access only to address-related attributes, like address, city, state, zip, and country code. We'll go into the demo and see how it is achieved. For this demo, I created three IAM roles for three different users. Athena Administrator for Joe, Athena Data Analyst for Maria, Athena Data Scientist for Alice. I also created an Amazon S3 bucket called Athena Demo Bucket. And inside the bucket, I created a folder called Account and I upload a sample CSV file. If you go back to the bucket policies, if you see the bucket policy, I gave access only to the lake formation service role with what the bucket is registered with. I'll show that in a minute. Then I created a table called account in the Athena demo database inside the AWS data catalog pointing to the account data. As we saw in the presentation, following are the attributes within the account table. So now let's move on to lake formation. So as a first step inside AWS lake formation, you will have to register the Amazon S3 bucket using the lake formation service role. And this is the role which I showed you in the bucket policy. This is the only role which will have access to the data stored in the S3 bucket. 
AWS Glue and Lake Formation both share the same data catalog. The Athena Demo Database and the Account Table, which we saw in the AWS Glue Data Catalog, we see the same database and table here. If I open the Account Table, you will see the same list of attributes. Next, we see grant access to the individual IAM roles for this table. So let's click on the Actions, Grant, and select the IAM role that you want to choose. First, let's select Athena Administrator for Joe to access. Then choose Select, and then say Grant. So permission is granted for Athena Administrator, meaning Administrator has access to the entire table. Now let's give access to Athena Data Analyst for Maria to access. So again, click Actions, Grant, and choose the IAM role for Athena Data Analyst. Remember, Maria want to have access only to the PIA attributes for our data analysis. So we give access only to the PIA attributes and not to the entire table. So for this, select include columns and choose the PIA columns here. Account ID, account number, names, first name, middle name, and last name, SSN, date of birth, and phone number. And then choose select for the table permissions and then say grant. Permission granted for Athena Data Analyst to include the attributes that we chose. Now let's give access to Athena Data Scientist for Alice to access. Again click on actions, select grant and choose the IAM role as Athena Data Scientist. Remember, uh, Alice wanted to have access only to the address related attributes for our model. So we give access only to the address related attributes and not to the entire table. So for that, choose the include columns, select only address related attributes, uh, account ID number, followed by the ad address related attributes, address, city, state, zip, and country code and choose select for the table permissions and hit grant. Permission granted for Athena Data Scientist to include the attributes that we chose. Now that all the entitlements are granted, we'll validate the entitlements by logging in as the individual role and query the data through Amazon Athena. Let me log into Safari and log in as admin access. Let me switch the role to admi Athena Administrator. So so I've logged in as Athena Administrator. Let me open up Athena. So this is the database, Athena Demo Database, and the table name is Account. Let's query the data. Since Administrator has access to the entire table, you can see all the attributes in the result set. Next, let's try logging in as uh, Athena Data Analyst. So I'm switching the role as Athena Data Analyst. Let's query the same table again. Since Analyst has access only to the PIA attributes, you can see only the PIA related attributes in the result set. Names, SSN, data birth and phone number. We don't see any address related attributes here. Now let's try logging in as Data Scientist. And let's query the same table again. Since the data scientist has access only to the address related attributes, you can see only address related attributes in the result set. With this, we come to the end of the presentation and the demo. Thank you for watching.